Look, John, see that? It looks like it's raining, but that's actually grease dripping into the fryer and making it like when it rains in a puddle outside. Right. Look, watch. You oh, see yeah. it? Oh! You see it? I've never seen that before. So the dirty grease from the hood is dripping into oh. the fryer oil, so it's in everything that's cooked in that fryer. I want an order of mozzarella sticks, a couple of um, Swiss and bacon burgers, medium rare. Guarantee, medium rare, medium. Well, whatever. Oh, that's cooking 101. Right. All right, so we got a few hamburgers going down. Do you see the fryer? I do. It's bubbling. There is a layer of gunk on the bottom of that fryer that is not allowing it to fry properly. There's that. OK, well, she's eating. Look at that look on her face. Yeah, she's chewing that over. Oh, you know how you have that mozzarella that's so hard? She can barely swallow this. <laughs> wow, she's still chewing. She's been chewing 20 seconds, 30 seconds, the same bite. Hold on. This is a world-class chew. She's in 40 <laughs> seconds. Are we going to make a minute? The one minute chew. Here we go. Yes! The one minute chew. I'm not sure I can eat that. Maybe the burgers will be better. Hopefully. Uh. Okay, so one of the reasons last night that your mozzarella sticks weren't frying crispy was because there is a layer of gunk in here. Oh, my gosh. All of this. God, that's nasty. This grease is disgusting. The first thing they're going to do is clean this freaking fryer. The fryer can work properly if it doesn't have five inches of scum on the bottom. That's what's going in the food each time you're frying. It's a wake-up call, that's for sure. Kitchen's open tonight? Yeah. So we'll have an order of sliders. If they want something, then you just put it in, and Justin will have to make it. The whole thing? Sweet. Really excited about this right now. Oh, I have to do my job now. Sorry. I'm not a cook. Hell. So let's take a look in the kitchen here. Now, there's no grill on. There's no fryer on. I'm not even sure they have product. It doesn't seem like this kitchen's even open. There's nothing in there. There is nothing in this kitchen. I do not want to talk to anybody at all. So don't come back here. OK. Paige just took an order from her own closed kitchen. If there's anybody in the room who would know that the kitchen wasn't open, it would be the manager. Yes. Turning on a fryer is not like a 30-second thing. You need that oil. You're talking two and a half gallons of oil in 20, 30 minutes to heat up. So these sliders that are five minutes into your timer are going to be a half, ooh. The fryer baskets have either rust or buildup of food that has turned into mold that has dried out. There's no action going on. They're ignoring the kitchen. Ah, oh, man. Wow. Hmm. Oh my God, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this at all. Like, I'm I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Or so one cook. He went in the kitchen, said, we don't have any of this. You. I'm not going to do that, and it shouldn't be my responsibility. Justin walked. Huh? Amber had asked to help out in the kitchen. And didn't do as he was directed. OK, so here's the good news. Chris moved. He can't even stand up without leaning on something. That's pretty bad right there. Just wondering, what what happened in the kitchen? We do not have sliders at the moment. Chicken fingers, you down with that? Yeah, sure, can we, can we? All right, so, like, why don't you help cook something? Like, put some liners, just help me, instead of standing, like, help. Oil should never bubble like that. That's all dirt and, and humidity. See the steam coming up? That's the moisture of the chicken being cooked at the wrong temperature. I feel bad for her, don't you? Think of this employee trying to do that doesn't know what she's doing. You couldn't get me to eat something fried in that fryer. That chicken's already out of fryer. From a frozen product in an under temperature fryer, there's no way that that chicken is ready. This is bad. We can't let anybody eat that. Would you go in and just check the safety on this for I got you, buddy. You're going to serve this, are you? It's a cold look. Look, because of the fryer temperature, see how they're greasy? Don't serve it. Don't serve it. I'm not going to let you serve this. Here, I'm not going to let you serve this. This should have oil on it. This should be clean. In fact, you know, let's do this. If you eat this, then we'll serve it. Yeah? Oh, you're going to piss me off. If you can serve this food, this is what you're taking, my friend, and putting in food. 
This right here. You can't walk in this kitchen and clean this kitchen, but you have no problem serving this type of food to customers out there. Go ahead, eat it. Eat it. You won't eat it. You back here and have your lady do this when you're sitting in the bar getting drunk. That's a, that's a big man right there. Okay, we'll do the nacho fries and turkey mouth. I'm gonna give you guys this. This is your number that he's gonna call. Where do I, do I get up there? You're gonna go right there to that counter. Okay. When he serves it, he's gonna yell for that number and okay. you're gonna go pick up okay. your food right there. Can you like ring a bell? Rather than like screaming out across the bar. Sound. Yeah. The fries in the fryer. Those are the fries in the fryer. Yeah. Well, I just see all that bubbling up, and I'm just thinking somebody's gonna eat that. You see smoke like that coming out of the oil. That's because of all the debris in the oil, correct? Yes. It'll get to the point where it can just bubble right over. Look at it. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Now look at that. Oh my gosh. That's the worst we've ever seen, Mike. Yeah. Luckily, he was standing right there. I mean, that's Look a, at a serious fire hazard. OK, so he's taking the cheese. He's added some water to it. Very special recipe going on here. Look at it. It's all lumpy. You're using crap, and then you're watering it down, and you're putting it on more crap and more crap, and then you're sending it out. Nacho fries. The nacho fries, yeah? Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I want to see if they're actually going to eat this the way this looks. Yo. <laughs> That's not real cheese. I mean, honestly, this looks like a joke. When it came out on that styrofoam plate with that gross, fake nacho cheese, and that was greasier than my face back in middle school. <laughs> like, this thing, it was so wild. So there's our owner. Have you seen him do anything tonight other than sit there? So he sat at the end of the bar and just had a drink and didn't do All right, we're going in. Those have to taste awful. The cheese kind of tastes like water. And if I didn't ask them to come into this bar, they'd leave right now, wouldn't they? Absolutely. It's a little weird. There's like a bitter aftertaste. Oh, my god. I can't even look through this. I can't watch this anymore. Somebody's going to get sick. Stop them. Come on in. First of all, look at that fry. What you're about to see will blow you away. Here we go. Look at this, guys. You ever see oil smoke like that? You know why it's doing that? Because it is so contaminated with bacteria and filth do you understand how dirty that is? Yeah, yeah. You leave at night and don't clean it. You let him leave at night and don't clean it. I personally have spoken to Lewis about cleaning the kitchen numerous times. And I've been on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor. The floor was like that all the really? way Really? What about that? I did not finish. So that's like changing a baby's diaper, but not between the cheeks of his ass, because you don't see it? <laughs> Will you eat that food? No, I don't want to eat that food. I don't so want if you won't eat it, how do you give it to them? My stomach hurts. I feel like I can't believe I just ate this nonsense. I'm just is, that, is that chicken on the trash can? I think he has chicken just sitting on the trash can. Wow. There's raw and cooked food everywhere. Right, raw chicken right now in the sink. That's your dish sink. That's your dish sink. And she's rinsing the chicken. OK, now let's see what she does with her hands after this. It's dripping right on the table. Yeah. So if our room is here 12, 14 hours a day, what the hell is he doing? It's not draining him. This is the slowest Mother's Day we've had ever, child, since I've been here in 10 years. And we can't do our job. He's not cleaning the kitchen. He's not organizing the kitchen. He's not cleaning the kitchen. What the hell does this guy do all day? You have a lot of nerve, ma'am. You have a lot of nerve, ma'am. Now that wet chicken is going in the fryer. Yeah, and wait till you see this fryer. Look at this foam or froth. Look at that. Look at the foam. Oh, my god. I've never seen it that bad, ever. I've never. That tells me the bottom of the fryer is not being clean. So all that stuff is kind of floating to the top. Gross. So if you were Ramiro and put up 300 grand and was losing $6,000 a month, and that's the way Raul cleaned your kitchen, would you be OK with that, chef? Not at all. He'd be out. He'd be out the back door. Look at this, chef. Chef, can they serve that food? They cannot serve that food, John. They can't serve any of it. No, we can't let them get that. Let's go in together. You shut the bar down, because they can't serve drinks. Shut the kitchen down. I'll go for the owners. You got it. How much money you got in this place? About 300000 300000 How much money does he have in it? None. So your brother it does, it doesn't respect your money, or he's an idiot? I think he respects my money, and I don't think he's an idiot. So is he lazy? No, absolutely not. So, really? So did you change this oil? 
Look at the color of these, Chef. Is that right? No. So, look at that oil. Can any of this be right with that oil? No. no. So, all of it is freaking wrong. That's disrespectful, man. And you did as disrespectful to your customers. I'm, I'm trying to do what I can do. You're going to get I'm, somebody I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'm one guy in here trying to do what I can do. So are you they're a saying, wimp? They're saying, are you an idiot? Saying, are you lazy? They're saying I'm too what hard. exactly are they're you? Saying I'm too hard on these people. I'm trying to do the best I can do, the best I know how to do. And yeah, we're up tonight. So the best you can do sucks. Introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Robert Gaddy. Manny LeGregor, good to meet you, sir. How you doing, Manny? How you doing? I brought him in here to do recon for me. And I've been watching this freak show that is your business tonight, which is outrageous. Hello, Hello Ashley. Hello there, sir. I'm John. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. I would not be smiling if I were you. What do you see, chef? It's gross back here. Look at this. When was the last time this fryer was actually cleaned out? I actually told them to clean it, but they didn't do it. So they completely disrespect you. Yes, they did. This up here, this is going to burn the whole building down. What is this? Chicken crumbs. Chicken crumbs from when? Yesterday. So you guys leave the chicken in there at room temperature for over 24 hours and put other chicken in with it? Are you nuts? It's supposed to be cleaned out every day. But it's not, and it's on you! We get chewed out if we throw it away. But I also told you to clean that bowl out every night. But if we throw that shit away, you hate making that. That's the biggest seller. That's why you don't want it to go. So explain that. There ain't no excuse for that. There's How no excuse. How about explain that? Just overworked. Robert, call him out! Very much bullshit. Y'all are not overworked down here by far. And what comes on the sampler? Everything. Ah, Robert. Oh, thank you. We'll order the sampler. I want to get the chili cheese fries, too. So they're going to microwave the chili. Did you see that? Yep. Oh, thanks. Can we get a couple of traps? Thank you. The cheese isn't melted. The french fries are soggy. Thank you. We still have the sample coming out, right? What's the ticket time on this? It's been a while. Eight minutes. I think I forgot to put that in. Oh, no. Forgot, forgot to, to put, put their order in. They are responsible for leaving the bar to cook the food. Then who is taking care of the bar guests? Where's all my bartenders? This lovely gentleman needs right. some beers. We're now at 11 minutes on that platter. Now, normally, a potato skin would be fried so it's crisped and then topped off. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this is going to be very soggy. soggy. Look at those wings. They're not crisp. You can see it. Mm-hmm. Um, potatoes are raw. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's raw. Yeah, it's raw. It's raw. Oh, that's gross. Don't eat that, Kevin. Don't eat that. I can't let this go on. I'm going in. Look at the filth everywhere. Look at the filth in here! Look at the filth in here! It just keeps getting better, guys! This is your future, look at it! Look at the sludge on the bottom of this grease. This is why their fried food was terrible. Do you want to eat this? Come on in, Kev. Oh, my God. Look at him, he's going to barf. Do you know how old that oil is? No. Do you see how thin the oil is? All the properties of the oil have completely broken down. All you're doing is boiling food in old oil that's Look at dirty. That. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.